Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. The restriction site for 191i is as follows. How many times can this restriction enzyme cut a 4 megabit uh, bacterial genome with 50% of the GC content? So let me start with explaining what 50% uh, GC content means. So when we are told that GC content uh, equals to 50%. That means that uh, we have four bases, guanine and cytosine. Guanine best pairs with cytosine. And zymine makes uh, pairs with adenine in uh, DNA, double-stranded DNA. And uh, if we know that these two bases make 50%, then the other two bases would make another 50%. And because guanine always bears pairs with cytosine, that means that uh, guanine would make 25%, cytosine would make 25% of those 50%, and zymine would make 25% and adenine would make another 25%. So basically 50% of the GC content means that every base in this double-stranded DNA represented by equal amounts. So the same percentage. This is important for our calculations. Now uh, let's take a look at the site which um, this restriction enzyme recognize and cuts. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bases. So let me rewrite it. So here is the 5 prime end and each empty box would stand for one base. So 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and three prime and here. So, what is the probability that uh, the first position would be cytosine? And probability is one fourth. We have uh, four bases and probability that the first position would be taken by cytosine would be one out of four. What is the probability that second position also would be cytosine? Again, one out of four. What is the probability that the third position would be adenine? And again, one out of four. And next, as you see, N stands that any nucleotide can be here, uh, so it can be guanine, cytosine, zymine, or adenine, and uh, basically uh, for this restriction enzyme it doesn't matter. So it also doesn't matter for our calculations. So we ignore just this basis. So we have one, two, three four, five such bases, so we just ignore them for our calculations. And then we have here uh, zymine, so probability that uh, if we take a random sequence and we are going to get a zymine at this position would be also one out of four, then guanine also would be 1 out of 4 and the last one also guanine also 1 out of 4. Now we have just to multiply all these independent probabilities and we will find probability of such sequence to happen in random. So uh, 
this basically means one quarter multiplied by itself six times or one quarter in a power of six which would give us one over four thousand ninety six so uh, if we would take any random sequence the probability would be uh, that sequence would be as follows would be one out of four thousand ninety six or in other words we can say that this restriction enzyme would cut uh, a sequence that is long enough in our example four million base pairs once every four thousand ninety six base pairs and now the last uh, thing that we have to do we just have to find how many times uh, this restriction enzyme would cut uh, four megabase um, double-stranded DNA so four megabase means uh, four millions so six zeros we have to divide by four thousand ninety six and as you see all the answers here is just approximation so we also wouldn't get such a rounded number but uh, the best approximation would be 1000 times and this is answer A why we use approximation sign here because uh, this is uh, of course a mathematical method how we find in uh, how many places this restriction enzyme would cut double stranded DNA but this is not necessary that um, some uh, DNA would follow uh, exactly this mathematical method this is just approximation it can cut say uh, 900 times or it can cut uh, 1100 times but uh, we can say that roughly this is going to be cut in 1000 places and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye